reporting live with the mini on Christmas Day at Young Dundas Square. Take it away, Tito Eddie. Hey! Hey! Episode 53! That's right, it's live from last week, episode 53. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow J-Rockers to a special episode of Laugh From Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, as I mentioned before, this is a very special episode of Live From Last Week. Maybe because A, I've got the most sleep that I've ever had post night shift today. B, it is the first official day of winter. And C, it is officially the one year anniversary of the first episode of Live From Last Week. And to celebrate, I'm wearing a shirt to commemorate this event. With a quick throwback to when I got this shirt for my birthday, personalized by the great Eduave. But yeah, just in the middle of doing a set of four night shifts, going in for my second night shift tonight. So we'll wrap it up for today and we'll just see you guys again tomorrow. So guys, I just have a little bit of a rant that I want to share with you guys. I looked at my work email, which stated that this morning there was actually an open event that I can attend where I could get fitted for the sizing of my respiratory masks for the N95s. The only thing is, when I went to the appointment at 8 o'clock, well, let's say about 8.05, they let me know that I was just a little bit late, they had already started the lesson, and I had to come back at 8.30 in order to get mask fitted again. But that meant that I had to go back to my car in the parking garage and pay extra money for extra parking in order to make that next class for 8.30. So what did I do? I moved my car from the garage to the street, paid extra money for extended parking, then headed over to the class for 8.30. Then when I got there, the organizer was like, oh, do you have any facial hair? So I let down my mask for a moment and they let me know that the amount of facial hair that I had on this morning, especially around the chin, was too much and they had to reschedule my mask fitting for the next day. And to be honest, I was a little bit frustrated, mainly because I had already paid extra for parking, didn't get any notification that my facial hair was way too much, even though this is how much facial hair I had this morning. And now I have to set aside extra time in order to make another appointment for my mask fitting. I had also went into a local washroom in the hospital got some sterile scissors and started cutting off the little beard that I have and tried to get back to that appointment. But unfortunately, it was all for naught. So yeah guys, pretty much this morning, I got home an hour later than I usually get home and I didn't even finish the appointment or certificate that I get for getting my mask fitting. So hopefully either tonight or tomorrow morning, I'll be able to go in for my mask fit testing and get that certificate for my N95. But yeah, enough about my rant. It's off to my third of my four night shifts later on tonight. But before I do, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my former co-workers, Lauren. Happy birthday, Lauren. Man, I'm missing your enthusiasm as well as your positive energy that you brought to work every time I worked with you. And also at work, how we would joke around and keep the good vibes going. Anyways, Lauren, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. My next birthday greeting for you guys today is to one of my beach volleyball friends, Teresa. Happy birthday, Teresa. Like I said before, I'm always admiring about how much improvement that you've had over the years in your beach volleyball game. And be sure that I'll continue to tell you that every time I see you. Anyways, Teresa, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Can't wait to play beach volleyball with you once again. And I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday. Now for my last birthday greeting before I go into work, I have a birthday greeting to one of my cousins, Eureka. Happy birthday, Warma. I'm always remembering the times when we would hang out together at the condo. And you would make that hour long trek just to come visit us here in Scarborough. And you know that I'm really missing those hangouts. Anyways, Warma, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy. Say hi to the family for me. And I'm hoping that we get to reconnect sometime soon in the future. So coming off my night shift this morning, hurrying so I can make my 7.30 appointment, after about a half an hour of doing these kind of exercises with their new mask, guess who, after their third time trying, and a day after shaving all their facial hair off, got their mask fit test 
to know exactly which respirator they can use now. Yup, you're right. It's this guy. But yeah, anyways, after I took a quick three hour nap post night shift, we made a quick bank run to pay off some bills at TD. I was a little bit disoriented driving during the daylight. But let me tell you guys something. Tonight will be my last shift out of my four night shifts that I've been doing in a row. So here goes my usual celebration that I usually do before I go in for my last night shift. And it goes one more night. So pretty much continuing with the excitement, the next time I see you guys will be Christmas Eve. So yeah, we'll wrap it up for the day and we'll just see you guys again tomorrow. Woo! So guys, welcome to Christmas Eve 2021. Where actually yesterday before my fourth night shift, the wife got me a present for this Christmas that I didn't know that I needed. So I opened this package from Amazon and saw that it was a brand new phone case for my iPhone mini. And as you guys can tell by these recent videos of my old phone case, where there's a piece of scotch tape holding it all together, I made use of this new phone case for the first time, and I've got to say that I already love it. But yeah, anyways, this morning, while driving through the beautiful scenes of a snowy Toronto, I uber carpooled Miss Gunna from work. And this guy was helping me learn a couple of phrases in his language. Merry Christmas to you, buddy. Merry Christmas. Welcome Gunna. Yeah. And then how do you say Happy New Year? Malcolm at this amat. Malcolm at this amat. Malcolm at this amat. Happy New Year. Lessons with Miss Ghana. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> Miss Ghana. Yes, yes. Yeah, man. Welcome, Addis Ahmed. <laughs> Welcome, Ghana. Welcome. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey. Yeah. Oh, Merry man. Christmas, Miss Ghana. Merry Christmas, Ghana. buddy. And wow. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, oh, look at that. So, yeah, don't worry, Miss Ghana. I'm going to practice these phrases so that I can use them on you and our co workers throughout this holiday season. Moving on, when I got home this morning, I noticed a couple of things on my bar that made me chuckle. I mean, check out these cute little Christmas suits that are on my sparkling wine bottles. And after taking a quick two hour post night shift nap this afternoon, I watched and observed the wife make these beautiful blueberry cheesecakes that I'm hopefully going to try later on tonight for dinner. And what's the attire that I'm going to dress in as this Christmas Eve? Well, Check out this lovely onesie suit featuring this one-liner on the glutes. So yeah, tonight, unfortunately, the wife won't be able to join us because I'm just about to drop her off to work this evening for her night shift. But we're heading over to my parents' place and we'll just see you guys there. Bells are ringing, it's time to scream and shout. And everybody's playing cause school's out. Celebrating the special time we share And happiness cause love is in the air And all the love will show Cause everybody knows It's Christmas time and all the kids will see The gifts under the tree It's the best time of year for the family Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas everybody! So, after a quick 
three hour nap last night on Christmas Eve. It is now six o'clock in the morning and I'm waking up hella early, starting to make my way on a mildish slash rainy Christmas morning to pick up the wife after her night shift and bring her home to Mississauga to see the Saga fam for Christmas I'm day. calling to say Merry Christmas, Merry Merry Christmas, baby. So after spending all of my Christmas day in Saga wearing this green onesie and checking out Tito Jan's progress on the kitchen that he's renovating, which pretty much only needs grouting before putting the appliances back in, I drove the wife back to downtown Toronto for her night shift tonight, got out of my car in the middle of Young Dundas Square to take this opening sequence video for live from last week, drive all the way to Markham to visit my Ate Shah, my Kuya John, and have a quick singing performance from my nephew Blueberry, who also has this message for you guys. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> so yeah, thanks again for that amazing performance, Jared. And while we're on the topic of greetings, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys that I may have missed since I've been busy over the past couple of days. So, without further ado, I have a belated birthday greeting, and this one goes out to Micah. Happy belated birthday, Micah. I'm remembering back in the day when we were in university, going to Filipino Student Association events with you, seeing you there and laughing at your funny jokes. And I also wanted to tell you that I admire the fact that you mail out Christmas cards every single year. Anyways, Micah, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. Next birthday on the list goes out to my cousin, Elron. Happy birthday, Elron. I'm remembering the times when you were younger, when I would treat you out to go into Raptor games as well as Argo games, and the fact that you painted your face blue for the support of the team. And did I mention that I admire the fact that you're working out, working on those progress pictures for the future? Anyways, Elron, I see the improvements that you're making year after year, and I'm hoping that you're keeping that up, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday this year. And my last birthday greeting of the day goes out to the one and only Baby Jesus. Happy birthday, Baby Jesus. I want to thank you for being born on this day and having this special day to celebrate on this calendar to open up presents. But yeah, Baby Jesus, keep looking over us. Keep us all safe and healthy this year. And I'm hoping that everybody out there has celebrated your birthday well this year. But yeah guys, all joking aside, I hope everybody out there had a happy, merry, and very blessed Christmas this year. Good morning everyone. It's 7 a.m. on the day after Christmas. And in Canada, we celebrate Boxing Day. A special day of shopping where there's many deals to be had. And I'm downtown right now to pick up the wife from work after her night shift. So after I drop off the wife at home, we probably will go shopping. But yeah, to commemorate Boxing Day, I'm actually going to show you guys a gift that the sister got for me for Christmas. Check it out. Woo -hoo -hoo. These cute little boxing gloves for my mini. So let's go hang these babies up and see how they look. And here it is. Boom! Happy Boxing Day, y'all. See this one? <laughs> Woo! Happy Boxing Day! But before we go Boxing Day shopping today, we went back home to open up some of the wife's Christmas presents. <laughs> Thank you! Something to listen to while I'm on the TTC now. 
And yeah, I'm here at the bank to get some money in order to go Boxing Day shopping. But check out this advice. You can get not great deals just at the stores, but since everybody is getting new stuff for Christmas, you can also check out places like Kijiji and Facebook to get pretty good deals and pretty new stuff since it's Boxing Day today. But yeah guys, unfortunately, the snowboarding boots that I bought the wife Oh no, it's too tight! are just a little bit too small for her. And since they're second hand and I can't return them to the store, this morning I went on Facebook Marketplace and saw that there are snowboarding boots that are a little bit bigger. So here I go, I'm on my way to buy them. Let's continue on with this Boxing Day shopping today. Happy Boxing Day, everyone! Manny Pacquiao! Pew 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 Woo! So after staying out all day going Boxing Day shopping and checking out those Facebook Marketplace deals, I'm remembering that my friend texted me earlier saying that he didn't feel so well. So for Boxing Day and Christmas, I decided to get him a present in the form of a health gift bag including the essentials like vitamin C, chicken noodle soup, orange juice, some hauls, and other things, including the classic Filipino heal it all remedy, Vicks Vapo Rub. Then afterwards, dropped it off as a surprise on his doorstep and headed back home because I'm going in for a random night shift tonight. And yeah, Elmer man, hope that you're feeling better. And I'm hoping that that gift package that I delivered to you earlier We'll get you back on track to feeling well for this holiday season. So since I only slept this much over the past 24 hours, I'm going to try to get some rest before I go in for work, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow morning. So I don't know if you guys can tell, I ain't in Toronto right now. But before I go on to tell you guys where I actually am, I'll tell you a little story about what I did this morning after my night shift. I actually ran into an old co-worker of mine while she was getting breakfast. <laughs> Happy holiday, Simi. So yeah, shout out to Simi. Then went to Egg Smart with the wife to pick up our own breakfast and enjoy this beautiful feast at home. And boy, did we ever deserve this? Because we both worked hard last night. But yeah, anyways, after I tucked her in for her post night shift nap this morning and let her sleep in until 3 p.m. I went to my local Moors to pick up that huge order from that gift certificate that I got slash shopping spree which I'll showcase in next week's live from last week episode and brought that haul of clothes home before passing out for my post night shift nap for a couple of hours. Back to where I actually am tonight, I'm at the Blue Mountain Resort up near Collingwood, Ontario for my first snowboarding session of the 2021-2022 season. But yeah guys, it looks like we've come up to the end of this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow the Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, 
and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week. <laughs>